Now let's see how to balance a chemical equation. Balancing chemical equation using a method that is known as hit and trial method. So consider an equation magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. So you know this is an unbalanced equation where the number of atoms in the LHS and the RHS are not equal. So first of all we have to write this equation and drawing boxes for each reactant and a product. So for magnesium we have to draw a box, for oxygen also we have to draw a box and the product magnesium oxide is to be written in a box. So first of all we have to draw a box and we have to write these elements in this column. So for that we have to draw three columns. One is element LHS RHS. So the elements are magnesium and oxygen. So first of all write magnesium then oxygen. There are only two atoms or two elements in this equation and the LHS what is the number of atoms in the reactant side. Here there is only one atom. In the RHS also there is only one atom. In the case of oxygen, it is 2. In the RHS, it is 1. So, there is an unbalance, unbalancing in the case of oxygen. So, we have to balance this equation. In the case of magnesium, it is equal. But we have to change the number of oxygen in the RHS. So, LHS, it is 2. So, we have to make the RHS also 2. For that, for making number of atoms 2 in the RHS, we have to change the number of atoms in this equation. So for that, we have to add 2 here. So we have to add 2 as a coefficient. We should not add 2 here as a subscript. Since the equation and the formula of magnesium oxide is MgO, we should not change the formula of magnesium oxide. We have to add the number as coefficient. So this two is applicable to this magnesium and uh, this oxygen. So the number of atoms in the RHS for oxygen changes to two. Now it is two. But there is a change in the number of atoms of magnesium. Now the number of atoms in the RHS for magnesium is also changes to 2. So there is again a change that is in the LHS it is 1. So we have to make that 1 into 2. For that we have to go to the LHS and in the LHS there is only 1 magnesium. We have to make it into 2. So again we have to add 2 as coefficient since magnesium is Magnesium number of atoms of magnesium are 2. So we have to change 1 into 2. So we can see there, there are 2 atoms in the LHS and RHS for magnesium and oxygen also LHS and RHS the number of atoms are equal. So we have to write the equation again it is 2 mg plus O2 gives 2 mg O. So this is a balanced chemical equation. Now this equation is balanced. That means this in this equation the number of atoms in the LHS and RHS are equal. So this is the balanced chemical equation. Now the second example is H2 plus O2 gives H2O. So first of all we have to draw boxes H2 plus O2 gives H2O and write the number of atoms in this column. So there are only two atoms. So hydrogen or two elements hydrogen and oxygen. So hydrogen LHS there are two atoms. So two RHS also two atoms. Then oxygen there are two atoms in the LHS 
and RHS there is only one atom. So we need to balance this equation since it is an unbalanced equation. So we have to change the number of atoms of oxygen in the RHS to be 2. For that we have to add coefficients. We have to add coefficients say 2 4 H2 that means add 2 here now this 2 is applicable to this hydrogen and this oxygen now there are 2 oxygen atoms now it is 2 and hydrogen also changes already there are 2 atoms and this 2 and 2 we have to multiply these 2 numbers in order to get the total number of atoms so this is 2 into 2 that means 4 hydrogen atoms in the RHS so it is 4 so there is a difference in the number of atoms for hydrogen so we have to change this 2 to 4 for that we have to go to the LHS and this hydrogen should be 4 for that we have to add 2 as the coefficient now 2 into 2 means 2 into 2 means 4 so both sides are equal now we got the balanced equation as 2 H2 plus O2 gives 2 H2 O so this is the balanced equation So consider the third example sodium hydroxide plus H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid gives sodium sulfate plus water. So this is an unbalanced equation we need to balance this equation. First of all we have to draw columns, draw boxes for each substances. So we have drawn boxes. Now we have to write the elements. So there are sodium, then sulfur, hydrogen and oxygen. So these are the elements present. Sodium, there are there is only one sodium in LHS, one sodium. Then RHS, there are two atoms. For sulfur, there is only one sulfur. RHS also one sulfur. Hydrogen in the LHS it is so one hydrogen in NaOH and two hydrogen atoms in H2SO4. So total number of hydrogen atoms in LHS. So that is it is 3. Here it is 2. So there are two hydrogen atoms in RHS. Then oxygen, oxygen here there is only one oxygen, here there are four oxygen atoms. So total five oxygen atoms in LHS. Here four plus one. Here only one oxygen atom. Then four plus one that is five oxygen atoms. So first of all we have to balance for sodium. So we have to make the LHS. So here the number of atoms are less. So we have to add number here. So LHS should be 2, RHS it is 2, so we have to make it 2. So we have to add the coefficient 2, we can start with 2. So if you are adding 2, the number of atoms for sodium is 2, it changes to 2. So this 2 is applicable to the sodium, this oxygen and this hydrogen. So now oxygen has been changed. Then oxygen sodium has been changed but the number of oxygen is again changes so 2 is applicable to this oxygen so 2 oxygen plus 4 oxygen so there are 6 oxygen in LHS then again hydrogen hydrogen also changing so 2 is applicable to this hydrogen so 2 hydrogen plus 2 hydrogen now it is 4 hydrogen atoms in LHS. Now we have to change the RHS. 
then hydrogen it is 2 in the RHS so we have to change the RHS that is we can add 2 as a coefficient now 2 into 2 so we have to multiply this 2 with this subscript 2 so 2 into 2 gives 4 now it is 4 then if you are adding this 2 the oxygen is also 2 this 2 is applicable to this oxygen also now 2 oxygen here and 4 oxygen here now 4 plus 2 is 6 so it is all balanced now the balanced equation is 2 NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus 2H2O. This is the balanced chemical equation.